All right, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a moving picture, also known as a GIF file or a GIF, as a lot of people like to call them. And if you don't know what that is, it's like one of these pictures. It's just a regular picture, but it moves. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use um, a video of this parrot. And I'm just going to make a quick one of it dancing. Like that part. That's what we're going to do. And I'm going to show you how to... Um, make them from videos off of YouTube, but if you want to use a video that you have just on your computer, a personal video or whatever, you can do that same the same way. Alright, so the first thing you want to do is you're going to need three programs for this. You're going to need the YouTube downloader, the VLC media player, and Photoshop. And I will include the links on where to download those in the description. Um, the first thing you want to do is I'm going to download this on the YouTube downloader just by using this link right here. Copy it. I'm going to go into the YouTube downloader, and I already downloaded it, but I'll show you. Um, when you download um, this program, um, you want to make sure you go right here and save it to somewhere where you can find. I just save it to my videos, but you, if you click this file folder here, you can save it to wherever you want. So I'm going to keep it in my videos. But then you just paste the link here, and you just click download, and it'll start downloading. But since I already have it, we're going to cancel it here. Alright, so once that finishes downloading, you'll find it in your, wherever you save it. Mine's in my videos, so let's go to that. Alright, and then it'll show up, mine's right here. So what you want to do is you want to open it with the VLC Media Player, um, which mine automatically does that, so. When you download it, it'll ask you to, like, save it to your default media player or whatever. Alright, and then before I show you how to get screen caps for it, um, there's a couple things you have to do as well. So once you get into VLC Media Player, you want to go up here to Tools. You want to go down to Preferences. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to Hotkeys. And this is going to help you um, get all of the frames of the video that, you can, that we're going to upload into um, Photoshop. And you want to go down... It should say where is it? There it is. Take video snapshot. And I think um the default is shift plus s, but um you want to change it to like a single letter or something so that way you can take um a continuous snapshots of the um video. I have mine set to X, you can use yours to whatever you want. Um something you can remember, something that's easy. Okay, and then once you do that, you're probably going to have to restart the VLC players to, um, like, activate the new hotkey. Oh, and you also, before I forget, you want to go to video, and then right here, um, after you go into preferences, go to video, and then in video snapshots, there's going to be a place, um, again, where it'll save the pictures that you take from the snapshot. So I have a folder in my pictures labeled caps. If you want to make a new folder for it, you can do that, or you can just hit browse here and you can save it into your pictures if you wanted, if I wanted to just save it here, but I want to save it into my caps folder. So, you want to select the folder and save, and then you can restart it. Alright, so once you have that done, go to the section of your video that you want to make um, a GIF of, and I'm going to start mine somewhere around here. Okay. So then what you do is once you get to the section of video, you just hit your whatever your hotkey is. Mine's X. So once you do that, it'll start taking all the snapshots of it. Okay, and that'll be good for mine. I'm just going to do him when he's head, head bobbing or whatever. And um, I guess I'll show you how to make them optimized for Tumblr, which is how I was taught. So, and Tumblr has a 500 ki kilobyte or whatever. A 500 file size limit. Um, <laughs> so that's what I'll show you. And um, Okay, so once you hit your hotkey, it'll show up in wherever you put it in the directory. And that's all. I have a bunch of old ones that I still haven't made uh, GIFs of yet, but I'll show you. I'll, we'll stick with the parrot for this one. Okay, there it is. And for Tumblr, you want to keep it anywhere between 
um, you don't want to go over like 21 of the pictures for your frames otherwise it gets too long and then the quality gets really shoddy when you optimize it or the file size so this one um, this should be good so they're all here um, and we'll kind of if we need to cut out some of the beginning or the end to make it flow or whatever we can do that so they should be right in your directory and I like to put them in new folders just because I'm kind of OCD um, organized like that but you don't have to you can just leave it you know can leave them like this or whatever Sorry. <laughs> there we go. Should move all these into a new folder real quick. All right. So now they're there. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to open up Photoshop. This is obviously after you install all of the, um, you know, the program. I am still using the tutorial version of Photoshop CS 5.1. Um, I'm sure there, you know, you can find the like serial keys for it somewhere, but um, I'm still using the tutorial. So if you're using it short term, the tutorial is not a big deal. It will work same as um, the full version. For our purpose, anyway, and I'm sure you can find somewhere else if you want to download the full version and not have the time cut off. All right, so I'm have Photoshop open. Um, I want to go over here. Oh, it's still kind of booting up. Give it a second. Let's see, there we go. Okay, so you want to go to File. First thing you want to do is you want to go to Scripts, and then go to Load Files into Stack. All right, and then this little box will pop up here, and you oh, see I'm still using the trial. All right, then you want to go to Browse over here on the right. And then find wherever you saved all of your shots. And this is why I like to put them in separate folders. So we're going to go to our Dancing Parrot and then just select all of them. And then click OK. And that all show up right here. And then just click OK. And wait for all of them to they'll pop up right over here in the Layers spot. If you have a bunch of um, pictures, it takes a minute, but it shouldn't take too long. And you'll know it's done once these stop loading over here. Alright, so it should be done now, and then you want to go to, right here, to Window, and then you want to click on the Animation button. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to get all of these layers over here into your animation. So you click on this little box over here, it has like a pull-up menu, and then click on Make Frames from Layers. What that'll do is it'll put all of the pictures that you took from your video and put them into your animation, but they'll be in it backwards. So the next thing is you reverse frames, and you click on the same box. And now, so you have all your pictures loaded in here. And so it'll show them dancing or whatever you're making the GIF of. But most of the time it'll be too fast. It's not, it's like faster than regular speed or whatever. So um, you can change the speed of the animation. So you go to select all frames. If you come down here to one of these little drop down arrows where it says zero seconds, it says select frame delay time. Go to other, and I've usually 0.15 seconds is like a normal speed. You'll see him like twisting his head around. 
All right, I'm going to take off the last two frames, I think, because it kind of, with him nodding his head. So there you have your picture, and the last thing left to do is to save it. And in order to save it to where it'll show up on the internet, you want to go to File, and then click on Save for Web and Devices. And in order for it to um, show up on Tumblr, actually you might have to resize it real quick before I before we save it. Um, for Tumblr, the best um, image size you want to have is right here if you go to width when I click hit on 500 for whatever you're making um, and then but if you're not doing it for tumblr then it really doesn't matter if you want the big huge version you can do that too but I'm saving it for tumblr so we're gonna make the width 500 and then if you come up here to this drop down menu go to um, optimize to file size I put in 499 here because that's one under the file size limit for tumblr so if you do that, usually um, if it's too big, it'll take out some of the colors. And then it'll optimize it for that file size, so that way it's um, the file size that you need. See, it took out some of the colors there. But now it is under 500, and then if you click Save, and you save it as whatever. Now if I were to go into Tumblr and upload this, see, and obviously this one didn't turn out as well because a lot of the color got taken out because it was too big. But, should show up and it should be moving and dancing, there he is. And if I were making this normally, I would crop it and um, to make it smaller, and that way all, all those colors wouldn't have been taken out. But um, do you have limited time, and this is already getting pretty long. So um, there's also a lot of other things you could do with it. You could make it black and white. You could, like I said, you could crop it. Like if I wanted just the bird, I could make it just around him. Um, you can use what are called PSDs, which are like the coloring um, that you see on a lot of things it makes like the colors different or optimizes it or whatever um, but I'm out of time for this tutorial so that is how you make a gif or a moving picture and um, maybe there's if there's not enough interest um, I, I'll make another one on how to use PSDs and how to crop and how to um, edit the picture further and add text and stuff like that um, but thanks for watching comment give me feedback rate Share it with your friends if they want to know how to do it. Um, <laughs> and thanks for watching.